Hey guys, so far we have completed six different Bash scripts. Let's move on to see what is the next topic. Our next topic is user input yes and no. And there will be a lot of bugs while creating this script. I'll show you what are those and how to fix it. So there is a user story from Rose. I had asked for yes no prompt. In the script this was designed but has a lot of bugs. For example, do you want to continue yes or no? So you have designed it. Do you if somebody is hitting on capital Y or capital N or somebody is typing 1, 2, 3 or somebody is hitting on enter, it is closing, right? If someone hits enter, it closes. If an invalid entry is made, it goes to main. But someone hits enter, it still shows the old entry. So this kind of lot of bugs are there. So what are those bugs? We are going to see in detail, okay, while we are designing. So let's get started. Start, uh, let's save this file, save as and we'll give it a name called 07 underscore yes no uh, this is user input yes no right so i'll say user input and save it as dot bat okay so now let's see how this can be entirely designed uh, without any mistake okay so first of all let's write echo off and then let's write um, i want to capture the value from the user right so i will say set what is p? p means prompt. It will prompt the user to enter. So I will store that in a variable called user input equals to I would like to say do you like to continue? Do you like to continue? And here I am going to say yes or no. Something like this. So this prompt will appear to the user saying do you like to continue? Let me show you how this will appear. Pause is not required. Um, if I run this, do you see how it is appearing? Do you like to continue? So if you are entering whatever the value, it is going to get stored in the user input. So for example, if I say echo, uh, I want to see the value of the user input. Okay, so I will first say user input percentage. So if you, when you write percentage, it will fetch the value of the variable. So let's see that how it is appearing first of all. Okay. Let's say I'm going to say why did I use a pause? I didn't use a pause. So let's use pause, save it. Let's say why. You can see the why has appeared. Okay, so it is working fine. So now our main job is to create a if condition, right? If user is selecting this, then do this. If user is selecting no, then do this. If user is making an invalid entry, then do this. So you have to write some block of functions or block of codes we have to write for that. So pretty simple one, just continue with me. So I'll remove all this, this is just for a testing. Okay, first thing what we will write, we'll use if command. If, and to fetch the value, I will say user underscore input percentage equals to equals to, if it is, if the user is selecting Y, go to the function called yes. So where to write this function, come below. And simply say yes so yes is nothing but when it will here it will jump directly to the line number eight okay from the line number three because we are saying go to yes it will go see where is written yes so this is how you would write colon yes that means it will come to the line number eight okay wherever this, this is it will go to that line automatically so here i will say echo user has entered yes okay so go to if he like to continue right so go to start i'll write another function called start and i want it to come here so i will simply say start so what is the go to means it is just sending uh, from this line to other line that's all it's going to send it to the top again so once it comes here you would like to clear the screen and present it once again to him so until he's saying why 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 it will continue okay so this much you have understood let's save it and run it will run uh, you know let's see one by one so let's say i'm going to say yes let me type y okay and hitting on enter so what is happening again it's going y hitting on enter again it's going do you see so this is what is happening with the code until now what we have written great let let's move on to the uh, other thing okay if the user is selecting no same thing we will repeat similar one we will repeat if user is selecting n go to no and for no we'll write a function here somewhere here so i will say 
no these are not case sensitive you can write anyway doesn't matter so i will say no okay and then echo user has uh, selected no okay echo, so this did not work right because we did not give it a pause here that's why okay and then here i will say uh, pause and then after that we will exit okay so let's see until here if it is working fine or not save it run it do you like to continue let's say i'm going to say yes user has entered yes um okay let's say let me enter n user has selected no so it is working fine so i have to change the spelling to no okay fine so until here it is working fine what if the user makes some uh, wrong entry let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 like that if he enters then what we will write we will write and also user can type capital y capital n even that is also there right now to adopt to all this i have to write an argument by saying i so it will take any kind of case sensitive okay upper case lower case by simply writing a i you don't have to repeat it several times simply write a i many people will write that uh, uh, if command multiple times capital y not required simply say argument i that means it will take both y small y or small n for example let me save it if i run this you will see if i'm typing capital y it is going right it is working fine right if i write capital n okay so it's working fine so simply writing y and n will work for you okay so let's make some more advancement okay if user is making 1 2 3 4 4 5 6 if, if he is entering right for that we haven't written anything right uh, go to no i'll have to write something called else so when you write else remember to put a function otherwise this else that uh, command is not coming in blue in color that means it's not taking it as a command so you have to put a parenthesis okay no else go to no uh, sorry go to no entire thing should be in, in that one go to no is one action right that entire action has to be there in the bracket go to no else go to uh, invalid if something else is there then go to invalid so let's design one for invalid function i will say invalid and here i will let me copy this sorry copy this one and we will make some changes okay so invalid user what we will make little bit of modification here what i will say user underscore input this is the variable which is holding the value is an invalid entry making sense hmm? and then i am saying try again so it is invalid entry please try again so that means it has to again go to the start right it will go to the start again it will start from the fresh okay okay now look at this looks like our um, code is designed so let's test it save but there are a lot of bugs i am telling you so let me hit on this one um let me enter 1 2 3 4 okay so 1 2 3 is an invalid entry try again okay so okay so it it is working fine now i will tell you the bugs what is the bug let me open it fresh i will open it fresh okay now what i am going to do i am going to instead of typing y n or any invalid entry i will not make any entry i'll simply hit on enter key i am hitting on enter key look at it what is going to happen hit enter key it got closed do you see i am hitting enter key it's getting closed this is first bug the second bug i'll show you for example let, let, let us first fix it so that i can show you the second bug so um, so when i'm hitting enter right when i'm hitting enter it is automatically closing so why it is happening so it is thinking there is no input so let me close i'm done because there is no input let me close so how do i fix this okay so where that is happening that specific part um, after this right after this sentence only it is thinking hey there is no uh, value so uh, let me finish it here so what we have to do we have to write one more if condition okay if if not defined there is a function called not defined if not defined what is not defined user underscore input is not defined if this is not defined 
गो टू स्टार्ट गेटिंग इट प्रिटी सिंपल वन मेनी पीपल विल मिस इट इफ नॉट डिफाइंड यूजर इनपुट गो टू स्टार्ट सो लेट्स लेट मी शो यू दिस सो लेट मी रन इट सो नाउ आई नॉट मेक एन एंटर आई हिट ऑन एंटर की एंटर की डू यू सी अगेन इट इज गोइंग सो लास्ट टाइम इट वॉज क्लोजिंग सो वन बग वी हैव फिक्सड सी ओके आई विल शो यू द सेकेंड बग वॉट इज द सेकेंड बग लेट मी मेक लेट स्टार्ट फ्रॉम लेट से इफ आई एम टाइपिंग वाई सो इट विल से यूजर दिस इज वॉकिंग फाइन इफ आई से नो इट शुड एक्सिट राइट नो मीन्स इट शुड एक्सिट सो दिस इज ऑल वॉकिंग फाइन लेट्स मेक अ little different let's say i'm take typing 1 2 3 4 5 it is also working fine and is showing you made an invalid entry okay for example 1 2 is an invalid entry try again again it is going to the top so everything is working fine i'll show you what is the problem here now 1 2 th sorry 1 2 3 i have entered it is showing 1 2 3 is invalid hit on enter it is going fine at this point if i'm going to hit enter see i am going to hit enter i did not enter 1 2 3 why is it showing 1 2 3 is in it is still taking that that previous value do you see so this is the bug see i am hitting on enter it is still showing for example 4 5 6 i have entered now it is said 4 5 6 is invalid okay i understood it is invalid now i'll hit on entry enter so it should go now at this stage instead of making a correction i will again hit on enter so what is saying again is showing 4 5 6 it should not show right that was entered last last time right why it is showing now right now i have simply hit on enter there is a bug so how to fix that let me show you there is a simple code uh, we have to implement so here you say invalid entry after that you have to clear the value of this variable okay now to create the clear the value of the variable i will simply say set what uh, set user underscore input equals to okay i will say blank or you can say um uh is equals to you can say blank equals to blank and yeah so let, let, let's try this so what i have done user input equals to put blank means you will just put uh, two double quotes okay two double quotes i put that means no value so let's try this let me close this save it uh let's okay do you like to continue so here i will say uh, i'll hit hit on enter so it is working fine let me make a invalid entry 1 2 3 1 2 3 invalid entry it came back let me hit enter once again is invalid entry so it is showing double quote okay so let's make little bit of that's why i got confused here so here instead of this simply leave it blank equals to leave it blank let's save it okay uh close and run it again okay so here let's make an entry 1 2 3 1 2 3 enter so 1 2 3 is invalid fine now at this point i'll hit on enter it should not show the 1 2 3 3 see it did not show so you can see it again going back to the proper one okay so we have fixed two different bugs so if i'm 4 5 6 1 valid entry if i hit on enter it should it is doing the proper work now let me say why okay capital y so everything is working fine okay but here yes many will say what if somebody says yes for that you have to write again yes yes is an invalid entry because here we have defined anything apart from y and n should be an invalid okay capital y is accepted capital n is accepted but if you want to also accept y what you should do you have to uh, once again write something uh if uh, uh, i user equals to yes go to yes you know you have to repeat that if no then go to no okay for that also you can mention i and i so that it can take any kind of uh, cases doesn't matter so thank you guys for watching it we are going to move on to our next topic so let's continue